We're now going to calculate uh, probability. We're going to use the formal definition to calculate probability. This definition is the P of E is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. Please take note that this P is a formal symbol for probability. The E represents the event. So, for example, if I ask you, what is the probability that I will get a six when rolling a die, that rolling a die and getting a six is called my event. I want a six. That is what I want. When I toss a coin and I want heads, that is my event. Tossing a coin is called an experiment. Rolling a die is called an experiment. But what I want from that experiment is called my event. So I want us now to repeat some of these examples we did before. But now we're going to calculate the probability by using our formal definition. First of all, if I take a die and I ask you, what is the chance or the probability that I will get a six when I roll a die? We now look at our favorable outcomes. How many favorable outcomes in this event? And there's only one because there's only one six on a die. So my favorable outcomes will be one over. How, what is the total number of outcomes on a die? And the total number of outcomes, we, like we said before, is six. And therefore, my probability will be one over six. We can now also look at the coin again that we used before. If I toss a coin and I ask you, what is the chance or the probability that it will land on heads? Then the question immediately is, how many heads on a coin? And how many outcomes on a coin? There's one head and there's two possible outcomes. So you will agree with me that probability then will be one over two. Our definition to calculate probability can now be written as follows in symbols. The probability for an event to happen is then the N of the event divided by the N of S. Now, please remember that E stands for my event. That is getting a six on a die, getting heads on a coin. That's my event. S is called my sample space. That is all the outcomes, the total number of outcomes. That is called the sample space. The symbol N stands for how many. So how many outcomes in the event, how many outcomes in the sample space. So what about the following example? I go back to the die again. When I roll a die, what is the probability that it will land on an even number? So if we now look at this, this problem, we now can start writing down all these possible outcomes. So first of all, we can say S, the sample space, all possible outcomes are the outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Those are all the possible outcomes. That's my sample space. My event, which is getting an even number, they are the outcomes 2, 4, and 6. So if I now use my formal definition for calculating a probability, I'm now going to say that the N of E, so how many outcomes in the event, is 1, 2, 3. How many outcomes in my sample space? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. And now you can see that this probability will be 3 over 6 
you can simplify it even to 1 over 2, or it's also sometimes given as 50%, or we can even give it as a decimal number, which is 0 0.5. Any one of these three ways may be used to give a probability answer.